Hello everybody, it's the Universal Critic. I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want, and today I'm here to bring you fantastic news. I can honestly tell you that officially now we have a movie based on a video game that doesn't suck. I know, this is fantastic, right? Well, as you probably guessed, I'm talking about the, the new Disney animated feature, Wreck-It Ralph, starring John C. Riley, Sarah Silverman, Jack McBrayer, and uh, Jane Lynch. So how was it? I really liked it. It was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, one thing that one thing that I liked about this film, but others might not, is that yeah, there are references to other video games like Mario and Sonic in the movie, but they're not the focus of the movie. They're just there for they're just there for a few minutes at best. But I like that because it reminds me a lot of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. You know, like yeah, there were cameos by lots of famous cartoon characters from the olden days, but they weren't the focus. It was the story that mattered first, not just cheap, silly references. And that's good because in a movie like this, that would have been terrible. That w I mean, it would have been cute, but it wouldn't have had, like, any substance or meaning to it. It would just be pointless. So, but overall, the movie, I really liked it. And the characters, basically, the story is that R John C. Riley plays Wreck-It Ralph, who is the villain of this 80s arcade game, which is basically a knockoff of Donkey Kong. And one day he decides he doesn't want to be the bad guy anymore, and he wants to be a good guy because he's tired of doing his job for... He's an integral part of the game, but no one seems to like him for doing it. So, why do why do it then? Well, he does, and he hops off to some other games, including a Halo knockoff called Hero's Duty, and a another racing game called Sugar Rush, which is basically, imagine if Candyland and Mario Kart had a baby. It would look something like that. Along the way, he, he, he meets, uh, in Hero's Duty, he meets Sergeant Calhoun, a soldier voiced by Jane Lynch, who is a great character, and he also meets a a glitch in Sugar Rush called Heroes, D called up, uh, sorry, Vanellope von Schweetz, who is the female lead in this film. So yeah, the characters are really colorful. You even meet meet the hero of Wreck It Ralph's game, Fix It Felix Jr., who is basically Mario in blue. Yeah, he's Mario if he was a carpenter instead of a plumber, which is completely different, right? Yeah, well, so yeah, obviously the main characters of the, like I said before, the main characters of the game aren't the in the movie aren't the original game characters, because that would be just a copyright nightmare, wouldn't it? But the characters are a lot of fun. Wreck-It Ralph, you know, you really feel for the guy, you know, like, we've all felt underappreciated in our lives at some point or another, and this is just a movie a movie that tells us to respect people for what they do, do in their jobs, no matter how crappy their job may be. And, uh, yeah, the other characters are good. Jack McBrayer is Fix-It Felix Jr. He's really funny. He's, like, all... Pss He's all proper and sanitized all the time, like, he's just so perfect. And Sergeant, Cal Sergeant Calhoun is a great character. She's just like this typical, she's like your typical, what it, what's the word I'm looking for? A typical hard-ass general, but she's a woman. And, uh, yeah, she does serve as a as sort of a love interest, but not to the main character, to fix the Felix Jr., but I won't digress on that. And then you got one of my, probably one of the better characters, best characters in the movie, aside from Rekka Ralph, is Vanellope Von Schweetz, voiced by Sarah Silverman. Basically, the sto her story is that uh, she's a glitch in the game Sugar Rush, meaning she, meaning like the other characters in the game hate her for it. But, and yeah, you really feel sorry, you really feel for the character, you really identify with her. She's a, yeah, I know Sarah Silverman, well, I don't watch her show, and I, so I don't know if she's funny or annoying, but she was really funny in this, in this episode, in this game, movie, sorry. So, basically, yeah, she's a... What I like is that she's just a character in the story who just happens to be a woman. It's She's not the love interest of the main character or anything. She's not anybody's love interest, yeah. She, you could pretty much... She's, you know, but she hasn't... She's more than just a token girl. Girl, she, You know, she's funny, she's eccentric, she's energetic, and it makes sense... Well, makes sense. I mean, she lives in a, in a world made out of candy. Makes sense she would have a lot of energy. And for the most part, you could pretty much replace her with a male character and nothing really would have needed to be changed. I like that. Show, shows that there's another place for in, care, in movies for women than just being the love interest. So overall, how was the animation movie? Really, really good. It really... There was even this short before called Paper Man, which is like a... It's computer animation, but it's designed to look like traditional animation. And it's really good. It really reminded me of the, of the old Disney... Disney shorts, though this one doesn't have any dialogue, and yeah, so Paper Man was a, the Paper Man short was really sweet and really funny, but we're not talking about that, we're talking about the animation in Wreck-It Ralph, which is really good, 
I like that they managed to like work in like the different stop like the different graphics from different eras of video games. Like in Wreck It Ralph, the Wreck It Ralph game, like they're all, you know, like gl slow and like they look. Well, they're oh, how do I say this properly? Uh, the characters are like you know really glitchy. They like move from position to position really quick, quickly. You know, like those old old Atari games. Whereas in Heroes Duty and Duty, they look like well. Xbox 360 graphics, and in Sugar Rush, you know, I think it's supposed to be like a Japanese style game, like a Nintendo game, so, so yeah, they really managed to get that, you know, it's all cute and colorful and fast, and yeah, it looks like your typical, typical Mario Kart game mixed with Candyland. So yeah, how's the voice acting? Really good, all the character, all the voice actors do a really good job, and I almost forgot that they were celebrity voices, they really mesh, mesh with the characters really well. And overall, the movie was really, really good. Oh, but before I should, before I sign off, there's one thing like the, they did something in the opening credits, you know this, you know how they have that opening credit where uh, it's just, you know, Mickey from the old black and white cartoon whistling, you know, uh, no, that didn't sound right at all, but basically they do that in the movie, but it's an 8-bit. Yes, that means 8-bit Mickey is technically in this episode. Anyone who doesn't go on that guy with the glasses doesn't know what I'm talking about, but it, it's cute. So overall, Wreck-It Ralph is a really fun, mo fun movie, and I'm glad to see Disney is glad to see not only Disney branching out into computer animation that doesn't have anything to do with Pixar. Well, John Lasseter is the producer, but it, that doesn't matter. And also, it's nice to see a video game movie that doesn't suck because there are so few of those. So overall, Wreck-It Ralph is a lot of fun, and I highly recommend it. And and that's all I have to say, really. I'm the Universal Critic. I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want.